Hello friends, it is Nicole Wale from Adisoft and in this quick tutorial I will show you how a polygon layer can inherit attributes from a point layer. In my case I have a point layer that contains these three points which mention the name of the village or town in English as well as its population. And I have a polygon layer which is this one which contains all of the towns and villages in the municipality. Now I will paste the attribute columns in the polygon layer based on the location of the point layer. Let's go to vector data management tools join attributes by location. Target vector layer will be the polygon layer. Join vector layer will be the point layer, of course, containing the two attribute columns. It will be contains because the points are inside the features of the polygon layer. Take attributes of first located feature. Join table, keep all records because I have uh, most of the towns and villages don't have a point in them. I don't uh, have information of their population. And let's create a temporary layer to check the results. Click run. As you can see, the new layer contains all the polygons of the input layer. And let's check. I will go to the attribute table and you have a, another two columns. When it's no, there was no point feature in them. And when there is a feature, it writes the name in English as well as the population. Now, of course, I can sort them by population if I want or manipulate the columns as I want. This is a very useful tool, especially if you have many point features with a big attribute table and you want to transfer them to there correctly. It's be well and I wish you inspiration in your architectural practice. It's Nicole Walev from Adisoft signing off.